because we're going to be turning the circulation system off, we're going to be closing, out, closing down those circulation pumps, it's very important that we isolate the power supply to the chemical dosing system. The way to do this will vary from plant room to plant room. If we turn that to off now, there's absolutely no possible way that the chlorine and the CO2 could continue to be, to be dosed in. What we're going to do now is shut down power to the circulation pump that's operating. So at the moment we've got this one off anyway because that's, um, that's on standby. Pump number two is on duty. So this is pump number one, that's already off. This is pump number two. This plant room is located below the level of the pool. So there's a head of pressure. <clears throat> Gravity is basically ensuring that all of this pipe work remains flooded. So the pumps are still primed. On filter number two, I'll get that into the closed position. So on these multi-port valves, you've got filtration, waste, closed, backwash, recirculation, and rinse. Now what we want to do is, is, is we, we don't want anything happening to this filter, so I'm going to change it from the filter position to the closed position. Now on these multi-port valves, it's very important that you only rotate the valve handle one way. So they, they go clockwise usually because inside of here is a spider gasket and if you go back on yourself with these multi-port valves you'll end up twisting the spider gasket so you only go in one direction so the way that you do it you, you, you push it down like that and then rotate it into the position that you want and so that that filter now filter number two is not going to be affected by by the backwash okay, so we've we've closed filter number two and then what we're doing with filter number one is we're, during normal filtration, water's going in here, it's coming out there. But for backwash, what we want to do is, having, is have the water go in there and come out here and then away to drainage. So the way to do that is at the, uh, the multi-port valve. And what you want to do for backwash is change it from that position all the way to, and then go round clockwise to backwash position and then now what that not what's happening now inside of here is that when water comes from the pumps into this multi-port valve it's actually going to be going in there and then coming out there and then what's going to be happening is going to be coming out of this pipe here this pipe at the back is the uh, is the drainage pipe What we need to do now is fire the system back up. So what we should see is water exiting. And that sight glass should start to run, should start to go cloudy. Okay, so the backwash has been running for about four minutes. So what we'll do is turn the uh, power off. And following a backwash is do what's called a rinse cycle. What happens with a rinse cycle is water goes in at the top again as, as normal filtration, goes back, uh, comes out at the bottom of the filter, but with a rinse, it still goes to drainage and the purpose of the rinse is to uh, recompact down the sand bed inside the filter because what we've been doing for the past four minutes is we've been agitating the sand bed and churning it up and fluidizing the sand bed 
just rotate the multi-port valve round to the rinse position. What will basically happen now is when water is delivered up to the multi-port valve, it will go in at the top, out at the bottom, it will come back to this multi-port valve and then continue to go out to, to, uh, to drainage. Okay, so the rinse has been going for about 60 seconds. So power off, and then you go back to the filter. And what we want now is the filter going back to normal filtration position. So again, rotating it clockwise and back to normal filtration. What we're gonna be doing now is getting the system back to normal. So we'll, we'll be bringing filter number two back online because it's closed off at the moment because we've, we've been backwashing just the one filter. So that's filter number two back online. And it might take a couple of minutes for that to reset. And then before you leave the plant room, just a quick check that everything is back as it should be. So we've got pressure on, on both filters. All valves are back into the right position. Chemical dosing system is back on. And so that's it, that's, that's backwash number, uh, filter number one backwashed.